guys, we're doing beef short ribs today. We got a little bit of brown sugar here, a little bit of tomato sauce with some uh, mustard in it, a uh, cider vinegar, tomato paste, some broth. This is chicken broth. You can use beef if you want. Chopped onions, chopped garlic, black pepper, salt, and this is an optional ingredient, but wasabi powder. Now if you don't like wasabi or if you don't know what it is or if you can't get it, um, add a little horseradish to the recipe. It does a little something to it. So what we're going to do right now is just get these things out the way and take the brown sugar and all of the seasonings here. The black pepper, the wasabi powder, and the salt. We're going to add those in there. We're going to put those all together and just mix them up really nice. And this is the mixture you're going to take and rub over your ribs, uh, some of it, and then the rest of it, we're just going to mix in with all of our other ingredients. And that would be the sauce that it actually gets braised in after we brown it off a little bit and rub it. Okay? Okay, that looks about right. Okay, we're going to take this pan and put it over here. Just transfer all our meat in here really quick. And we'll start on the back side. Just gonna take the brown sugar mixture, do it like that. The back side, it's not that important, but I like to get get the seasoning, you know, all over everywhere. That's good enough for the back. We're gonna turn these good boys on over. We're gonna hit a little bit on. The Oh, this is going to be good. And I have an oven sitting at 425 degrees. And we're going to put them in that oven. And let them go for a bit. All right. Put them in there and just let them go. Okay, I'm going to take the rest of this here, my tomato paste. Tomato sauce and mustard mixed together there. Onions. Watch my tomato sauce up in there. And my side of vinegar. And we're just going to mix all of that together. Yeah, that's good enough. So we're going to put this to the side. And then when, um, when the beef is browned, we'll pull it out the oven and pour the sauce off and return to the oven covered. Okay. Okay. That's pretty nice though. Things browned off. And we're gonna just pour a fabulous sauce over that. And we're gonna cut it right off. And we're gonna put it in the oven and let it cook for about an hour and a half. See what we got here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Smells really good. It's bumbling, but is it tender? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pork goes sticks. Mm. Oh yes. Okay. So there you have it. Oh, that's really nice. The ribs come out very nice. And we're going to take some of this sauce that we 
made. Just put it over in a little bit. This is this is a type of barbecue sauce, I guess you could call it, but it's not the smoky hickory barbecue sauce that you get out of the bottle. It's actually the barbecue sauce that you make with the rib. Or as I like to call it, this is true bone sucking sauce here. And we're going to do that like that. And that's it. And of course I like a few scallions on top of it. I love that. But like the flavor that it brings out. So that's barbecue short ribs. See you next time. Enjoy.